So this is something I fought for. I have a new doctor. I hope he he continues to be my doctor. I he doesn't know much about my medical issues. Um we had an appointment. I asked for an at-home overnight oximetry test. Um, the situation here is complex. My sleep issue is has been critical and life-threatening. I Eight months ago, I finished four years and three months of sleeping one or two hours and often no sleep at all. One, four years and three months of sleeping one or two hours only every night. Absolutely suicidal. Eight months ago, that switched to two or three hours of sleep every night. Literally, it's been playing beat the clock. I'm at maybe nine or ten years of sleeping three hours or less a month. Uh, three hours or, or less a night. <sighs> Sorry, I shivered. Um, my doctor retired. Almost four years ago, I started going through benzodiazepine withdrawal. Almost five years ago, I started that, that sleeping one or two hours only a night started about a year prior to benzo withdrawal and uh, you know the benzo withdrawal has been an absolute medical nightmare I have Chiari malformation uh, brain herniation a congenital condition and if bad enough requires brain surgery and if my sleep issues don't straighten out I am not going to survive. I'm very injured from the benzodiazepine withdrawal. The benzodiazepine injury injured my nervous system. I have severe neuropathy, breathing difficulties. I'm sure it harmed my heart and lungs. Um... Inflammation of the brain, uh, post-acute withdrawal syndrome, what, you know, I, I don't function. I don't house clean. I can't, I, I don't function. If, if I, I don't know if I'd have, be capable of driving, I, I'm not capable of driving a, a, a riding a bike. Um, not Kate, you know, sometimes I can't even get up and down the stairs. I can walk to the store three blocks when I'm well enough, strong enough. Um, I feel like I have the raging, a raging flu 365 days a year. Usually sleeping is hell. My body often doesn't want to breathe. I'm in pain. My body's caving in. My body is heavier laying down from the neuropathy. I feel like I'm drowning in my body. Um, severe apnea is a huge, huge problem. I'm trying to figure out what is preventing me from sleeping. The past couple nights, I think I've had four hours of sleep. which is unusual because it usually doesn't happen. 
even two nights in a row. I asked for another referral to neuro neurosurgery. I've seen two neurosurgeons. I've asked for another referral back to neurology. I've asked for an overnight oximetry because I can wake up and my oxygen is 86, 87. And I can wake up and my oxygen feels fine. I'm often not sleeping beyond 45 minutes. My brain, my brain doesn't work right. I will sleep for 45 minutes. I'll be falling down tired feeling suicidal and I will sleep for 40, 45 minutes and my brain will go, I'll wake up, I'll open my eyes in the dark and my brain will go, okay, we're good to go. Let's get up. Let's do this. And I'm thinking, how many hours went by? Like, did, did I sleep four hours? How, how much time? And I will open my iPad. I slept 45 minutes. An hour will have gone